that one was smoked. It was 20 yards further. one thought that that too and it helps if you take the practice swing and then you just shut it off you know you shut everything off is the hardest part you can't have two or three thoughts the one thought I'm, I I use is that fold up fold down but really it's the elbow as long as I keep that elbow and that arc and close to me you're gonna get a nice result because your body will react to that and even if you resist more with your lower body get stable and resist like this you're still going to move in fact you'll move less but you get more consistent hitting the ball yeah that was perfect pivot right yeah. in front of the ball yeah 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 very very nice with the elbow there good Good, good divots. Is it feeling more comfortable? Yes. For some reason that clicks. Yes. Yes, it does. Ah, guess what? Guess what you did? I did put my elbow in. That was your old shoulder throw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what happened was you started to get your elbow back and then you threw your shoulder. So you come over the top and no, you know, that's all it is. You're fighting your past. No. Let's do one more, then I'll turn the camera off and work a little bit. I can see pretty good from this angle what's going on. You look better. Your practice swings are great. It's so good right there. It's, it, it, it is so good. Yeah, look at that. There you bobbed up and down a little too much. Resist your lower body from bobbing around. I know I had you straightening your leg last time, but that was to get movement for you. Um, now you're at the point you don't have to do that. Nice. Hit one more ball and then I'm going to show you something else. This is your divot. And that was with you just with your eye gaze at that pole. And, and you, I'm going to show you this to you. It's unbelievable. Now, I'm going to go behind you, and I want you to hit that, do the same thing practice-wise, but I want you to hit the ball, and I'll show you the difference. Find some eye gaze. Feel the sensation. Even if you close your eyes and feel how your head is moving, or actually not moving, your chin is up, so you're swinging beautifully underneath. Your elbow's great. Your divots are fantastic. Yeah. Now hit the ball. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, go ahead. Put some juice on it. Okay, now look at your divot. All right, you're standing to the handle. You're going to replace the it right back where it was with the seven iron. How was that shot? Beautiful. So, what worked for you? What's your trigger? Stand the handle. Stand the handle. It takes your yeah. Let's look at the divot. Divots. 
okay so you got better divots with it show tell them exactly all you're doing what is your thoughts well the thought is I always play the ball too far forward so ball in the middle of my stance stand the handle make sure the handle is forward of the ball by the ball and just take it back and put the handle back and do that again for me And you hit uh, 12 shots, well, let's see, 12, 13 shots in a row. Yeah. With the pitching wedge, you were within three, four feet of each other, okay, which is awesome. Yeah. And then you went to the 7-iron, and do you normally hit a 7-iron like that? No. Yeah. No, it's never it goes that high or that far. It's awesome. We found the trigger. Success. Stand the handle. Stand the handle. Beautiful, Raj. So we're not done yet. There's uh, more to do. We've got Roger using the tool right, and better yet, we found a trigger. Next, we'll work on the shoulder movement and the arm movement to make it better. Perfect practice swings show that Roger has huge potential. The gaze at a distant object got his chin up. It automatically corrected his form. We then saw the perfect form, so his potential is